Well, we're looking forward to this afternoon. Of course, two former county players are coming down to join us today. We've got Michael Raines and Andy Halls coming along to Edgley Park this afternoon. It's going to be a really exciting day. Yeah, it's going to be good to see them again. Um, of course, we've got Gaz coming from the current team, and you know, both Andy and Raines, he both played well over 100 games for us here. Uh, the baptism of fire for Halls here away at Leeds uh, as a 16 year old. Um, but you know, work with plenty, work with them both plenty of times in my ten years here, so it's gonna be nice to see them. Well, listen, Mike. Congratulations, ten years here at Edgeley Park. Um, how did you first get into photography? Thanks, John. It's uh, it doesn't feel like ten years, but it did genuinely start quite a lot longer ago than that. Um, my dad got me into it as a hobby, um, just as a young boy, I suppose. Uh, he's been photographing motorsports since the 60s, so right. you know, a long time before I was born. Um, you see cameras around, you enjoy something that likes sport, you pick them up, you have a go, don't you? Um, my uncle gave me an old Zenith SLR from, uh, from Russia, and um, yeah, it, it sort of carried on from there really. What makes it a great photograph in your opinion? There's, there's a lot of things that make great photographs. Uh, some photographs are beautiful, um, some are all about the context. Say for instance, a goal's been scored here, um, you know, it could just be quite angry looking faces in a oh. manner, but there's passion in there. You can see the feeling that the guys have got. You almost feel it yourself because it's so passionate. The, the faces are important. It's something that we really connect with as human beings. So Mike, what's been your favorite picture and, and, and why? One goes back to sort of early days when I only just started coming here. Um, it was uh, a late equaliser from Leon McSweeney against Huddersfield. Um, it was a lucky shot in, in a few respects because I'd actually come back over to this side of the pitch where I used to meet the commercial manager at the time because uh, we used to have to do the man of the match picture at full time. Um, so I'd come to where he came with the sponsors to do the photograph. So there I am sat pitch side, Leon puts this equaliser in the back of the net and him and five or six other players literally peel around and run straight towards me and like we were saying about emotion it's just beaming smiles the cheer lens full behind them um, obviously there's the emotion of it being a late equaliser and sort of enhances it a little uh, it, it's just I don't know it makes me smile every time I look at it I'd, I'd hope it looks makes a lot of people smile and we've actually had it recreated wall size or well, I think they are bigger than life size actually on the in the players entrance. Do you think players sometimes deliberately try and get in the shot particularly when they're celebrating a goal? Not always because I think emotion takes over. A lot of the time they'll go running for the fans, they'll go running for the guy who set the goal up. For me it's fantastic because you, you know you're getting a great celebration shot literally every time the guy puts the ball in the back of the net so I mean if they do that every week I'd be laughing. <laughs> Boys, welcome back to Edgeley Park. Andy, first of all, what's it like being back? It's, uh, it's quite strange, really. I've not been back in a while, in a couple of years. Uh, I think last time I came back was uh, in a pre-season friendly when I played for Macclesfield, but it's totally different coming back as, as a, an opponent of a team or coming back today and seeing like, some familiar faces. No, but it's, it's nice. Michael, great memories, of course, from, from Edgeley Park from your time in Stockport yeah. County. You still love coming here. I do, yeah. You've not changed a bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I said, we had some, some real good times here. This is where it all started for me, so it's, it's nice to come back. Interested as well, I mean, you've stayed in touch with, with uh, Mike Petch and, and even to the point that he's taking pictures at your wedding. Can't shake him off, can we? Can't <laughs> shake him off. Like, no, Mike did me the, the honour of being my photographer at the wedding. Um, and you did Pleasure, it. Mate. I would say you did a fantastic <laughs> job, mate. No, you did. It couldn't have gone. It couldn't have gone any smoother. And, yeah, it was, it was a nice day all round. In terms of the photography, 
that you've seen down the years. Yeah. Um, how important is it, those images that you see on the back of the paper, how important is it to the lads? I think now you don't really appreciate it, but I reckon when you're older, I reckon that's when it'll mean, mean the most to you. Like I've got a couple of pictures now that I look back on from years when I was here and when I've been at other clubs and it just it triggers little memories that you, you may forget about, people that are in the pictures with you, that bring back stories, that bring back little things because obviously day to day life you don't remember everything but then little snapshots can, can bring back a, a million memories. And Andy, I think you even did some modelling work with Petchy, is that right? Yeah, I think I've been Mike's sort of guinea pig for many times. <laughs> I've needed a model for well, a half looking a good looking guy, he fucking fit me in. <laughs> well, last time I did it, he said, oh, we saw you, you were second choice. Last time he said it, he said, oh, I, I tried to get someone else in, but it wasn't available, so you're the second choice. So I'll remember that next time he asks. <laughs> We've also popped Andy up in a wedding here at, at Edgley Park, actually. Yeah, there's yeah. a couple of pictures up there. Which, uh, just, that was a strange sort of photo shoot to put in next to a bride, but it was a... Uh, Good experience in the end, I suppose. <laughs> it's been a it's been a mixed decade really for Stockport County, but in terms of the players that you played with, let's be honest, the, the goal scorers, the strikers, did they go looking for the cameraman, do you think? Uh, I definitely would. If I was a striker, <laughs> I'd definitely know where the cameras were when I scored a goal. Um, it's just one of them things, isn't it? You score a goal and you want to get your, your picture taken and put in the paper as a goal scorer. And uh, like you mentioned before, it's just People talk about oh, seeing you in the paper, and when you see yourself, it's just that sort of like special sort of occasion. You, you do get a nice feeling out of seeing yourself in the paper, so it's it's something that you're going to look back on when, you, like Mikey said, when you finish your career and, and sort of treasure them. them do you still on. keep those stills? Uh, I don't have many, to be fair. I'm not that sort of that sort of personality where I look at photos and stuff. But I know my mum has got quite a lot from my Stockport days uh, because I was young and, and sort of it was like my first professional sort of debuts and stuff like that. Um, so it's going to be nice to look back on and show show my kids when, when I have kids and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm glad that my mum's got a few in a, in a photo album. And Michael, I can remember after games, the lads go into to Mike and saying, uh, can I have a look at the pictures that you've got and ask him for print? Only if you won. Only if you won. <laughs> to be fair, us defenders, we didn't really get many nice pictures, I don't think. It's always editing it in your face. You're like on one of our best. You're on one of our best. That was one good one, yeah. but we're celebrating them, aren't we? But no, I think... Um, action shots we're sort of putting our face on the line so we don't really get too glamorous photo when you're like shooting yeah, about to yeah. score mate do we so no the, the ones we've got saved are not the best how you doing hey, hey, mate. oh i guess hi mate come on show them what you can do let's get on the come on man let's see what you've got oh, <laughs> photography what's the next big thing going to be what's the next big development do you think getting the images out much faster so you've probably noticed that there are football clubs out there who we call it live tweeting if you like where they'll have somebody sat in the stands literally receiving what I'm taking as I'm taking it um, and then putting things out on social media platforms it's becoming more prevalent in photography in general so it's yeah I think that's how I'd like to develop my photography. I don't, I don't know if things are changing a great deal from a general photography point of view. Um, it was always about how many pixels your camera had and that sort of thing but that sort of slowed itself down now and I think we've sort of learned that it's not all about more, um, it's about getting the quality out. Um, and personally what um What's the one picture you'd like to take in the next five or ten years? It's got to be a promotion, isn't it? It's got to be those scenes, it's got to be that, that dressing room champagne moments. And I don't just mean sh promotion from the division we're in now either, although we obviously need that first. But I think 
getting it back into the Football League. I mean, I remember photographing the lads on the steps at the Town Hall after promotion uh, into League One, and it's amazing. What Seeing the A6 blocked up the way it was and all that sort of stuff. The, the fact that we got that mo our moment, the open-top bus moment, it, it's, it's brilliant, and the town needs that back. Well, look, we're going to have a look at the uh, the goal, Gary, that you scored against uh, Salford City last season. Your former club, of course, Salford City. And this has been the subject of, of one of the, the best photographs I think we've seen here at Edgley Park. Just talk us through the goal. Uh, well, we're not really there yet. This is an <laughs> um, aimless throw by Mark Roth. <laughs> it comes out and we end up winning the ball back. And then we give it away again. And I think we win it back again. But I always remember this goal because, obviously, I, I only score like one or two a season, so it sticks in the mind. And now uh, Sam wins it there. Sam gets it back. Courtney Meppen Walters makes a run. Danny Lloyd plays him in, and I just creep into the box. A little oh, finish. Sweet. Run off celebrating. What's going through your mind there of that celebration? Get off me, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> That's because of all the celebrations he's been doing all yeah, day. Yeah. Jealous, it's not him. Now, well, what's interesting for me is. As you've scored that and you run away to the left, do you know the photographer's out there? <laughs> no, honestly, not at all. I, I, I usually look for him before the game because he moves around, so it's just pot luck that it's there. I wish I, I wish I were that intelligent. And you were well positioned. Clearly, you go, you do sit behind the opposition goal. That, that's right, is it? Yeah, you do. Um, I mean, I, I have to sit a bit deeper for some parts of the game because otherwise, you don't get any pictures of your goalkeepers or your centre halves and that kind of thing. But um, particularly when we're at home, you like a nice spread of pictures of you know all the players, but you you have to spend a good chunk of time behind the goals because that's where all this kind of stuff happens. Guys have seen the the end result, the photo we have, how quick that celebration happens. You wouldn't even know necessarily that that picture was part of that. Yeah, because actually Lloyd is just dragging him to the ground. He's trying to enjoy himself and enjoy the goal that he's just yeah. scored. <laughs> But you can see on their faces, you know, they, they both obviously appreciated that, you know, we all right, we were one nil down at the time. Kaz has pulled us back into it and we go on to win the game. But And we were saying, Kaz, it's one of those moments where the picture, the still, is actually better than the video, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, by a mile. It looks quality. It's just like the sheer joy on both our faces. Um, and it's a, well, it's a little bit of luck as well. Obviously, if, I, if I'm at the back post and score, I'll probably go to the other side. You know, probably because I'm a bit knackered or something. I'm quite <laughs> happy when he dragged me down, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I've got, I can't tell you how many celebration shots I've got, which are all players running away. Yeah, running mean, away, yeah. They don't always come to you. you you've got, you make the most of what you can get. And to be fair, that's, as you say, got whipped round. You, met, you, you had to make the most, well, you did really well to make the most of it. <laughs> Split you, second. I mean, you've been at a good few clubs. What's the, the photography here? How does it compare to clubs you've yeah, been previously? It's, it's, yeah, it's good. Well, Mike's obviously a professional. You know, you can tell when you look at them, it's not just like snap, 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 take like 20 photos. It's like, it's like maybe four or five, but they're all like either an action shot or you're doing something or, or with me just running around, chase, <laughs> chasing Tom the ball. Yeah, Tom Gale. That's what it is. Yeah. And do you tend to keep them? Do you, do, do you have them? Yeah, like, I think everyone, do, everyone does. When you, only when, you, when you've had a good game, you look for um, photos. Like, if you like, say you've scored especially, like you want to keep that photo because it's a good memory. And not even just for you, but like, you know, your family and things like that. Mm. We might not have got to the game. Like, oh, in our Gary doing well, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. You had half an idea where, where Pecci was but for that celebration. Do you think the centre forwards know exactly where Pecci is for that, the celebrations? Do they, do they make a, a beeline for him? Danny Lloyd? I'm yeah, well, I, I was going to say, I'm not saying any names, but I'm sure Danny did, definitely. <laughs> oh, but then again, he, you know, he's, he's, he should do because he's scoring like 20 odd goals. So he might as well. Lloyd. But with me, it's you know, there's no point doing it because I'm only going to get that like, too. <laughs> you know, Lloydy definitely knew. I've even had moments during last season where he'd run in the wrong direction and turn around and come back again <laughs> because he'd, he'd, he'd not seen me where he was heading for. But, um, he knew what to do with them afterwards as well, though. He was, you know, he was crafty with his social media and stuff. And and I, I mean, I'm not saying I have, I played a part in his move at all, but you look where that sort of. Um, Coverage gets you because mm. it gets you recognised. Yeah, it, it's he's in the public eye. Whether other other teams must notice from our official outlets, from the club's official outlets, that 
players get mentioned more than others. Mm. It, it has to happen, doesn't it? It's, that's just the nature of it. And also for you, Gary, I mean, this was a, a significant goal. It was against your former club, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm not really one, you know, because I don't, it's like I keep going back to the same point, because I don't score many goals. I'm going to celebrate my goals. I don't really care who it's against. You know, it's, a, it's an achievement for me to, to get on the score sheet. And uh, I had some good times at Salford and um, it was just, I ended up leaving and, you, you know, you rep you're getting paid to represent your new club. And if I score a goal, well, I don't really put any thought into celebration, just run off like an idiot. <laughs> Can I ask, personally, yeah, given that you, you left last season, you went to Australia and, all right, you've come back, do moments like those give you that pull towards a certain club? Not that, not that that's the reason you've come back, but do you, do you remember stuff like that as part yeah, of the time? Yeah, well, it, you do, you, every so often, like, say you can't sleep at night and you've he comes up on YouTube and you watch one and then you watch another one and you watch a game and then you just and you get a bit of nostalgia in it really but especially when I were over there playing like in front of about 16 fans in Australia mm -hmm. I'm thinking what am I doing mm. yeah. um, but I had a good time I suppose <laughs> <laughs> it's a great backdrop as well Ashley Park isn't it if you're gonna have a, a picture yeah, of, like, of your it's career it's you want proper, it isn't it it's proper it's just, oh, that noise that the Cheetland yeah. makes as well when you it's fantastic I mean we've got, we've got We've got FC United coming up and then we'll have Salford at home. Mm. They'll all be big bumper crowds, won't they? Yeah, like that, 5, that was plus. That yeah. was a bumper crowd, weren't it? Mm. And it's always better, you know, it's good playing. I remember, because I've come the other way, I've come from like, lower leagues and come up, you know. So you appreciate it a bit more instead of like some people have been at like crowds or coming on as a sub in front of 20,000 and then you're coming kind of down a little bit. Yeah. But every time, you know, you go out and you feel that roar, I definitely feel it. Mm. it definitely makes it feel better anyway. And the picture you want to see, presumably, in, in the near future is going to be a, a promotion picture here yeah, at Ashley Park. that would be fantastic. Well, listen, all the very best. Me as captain. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your time. Well done, mate. Sorted. Ha, 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 ha.